Welcome, I'm Rose Oatley, and today we're going to talk all about cast iron skillets. I'm going to show you how to clean them and season them. If you have a grandparent that passed on one of these to you, you're one of the lucky ones. There are so many benefits to cooking with cast iron. Unlike many other pots and pans, cast iron pans get better with age and they will last a lifetime if you care for them. Now, they also retain heat and will sear really well, leaving a crispy caramelized crust in your steaks and other meals. Before we continue, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. Here, I've got two brand new skillets we're gonna clean and season together. Now, this one is a Lodge brand, which is very reasonable. The other was an off brand. I'll get the name for you and post it below. Now, if you're asking, well, what is seasoning? Seasoning is like a polish, a baked on layer of oil that keeps your skillet from rusting or sticking to food. Now, sometimes when you buy these skillets, you'll see that it says pre-season. It doesn't matter. You still want to season before using them. I'm going to start by washing my pans with hot soapy water. Now, I love using these SOS pads. They work great. If you don't have them, that's perfectly fine. You can just use the back of a sponge, probably a newer one that I have here. When you wash them, make sure that you scrub them completely. This includes the handle, the bottom, the sides, everything. If you have a used pan that you just want to re-season, you're going to follow the same steps. Sometimes you'll have stubborn food that's stuck. Use a piece of steel wool and some mild dish soap. Just make sure you scrub everything. Now, you can season your pan once a year. If your skillet starts looking dull or you notice any rust, it's a good idea to season the pan again. Okay, so you only want to use soap the first time that you're going to season your skillet or if you're seasoning in between. After each meal, you want to immediately wash it with only hot or warm water and a non-abrasive pad. No soap. Now, if you absolutely have to use a very small amount of soap, you want to prevent removing that non-stick surface you've worked so hard at. Right after you wash them, you want to make sure that you dry them completely. You never want to leave your skillets to air dry because they will run a chance of rusting. You also don't want to put them in the dishwasher because you'll end up with a rusted pan. All right, and we're trying to avoid rust. So you want to make sure that you dry your pans completely. Make sure you go through the handles, the bottom, and every crevice. Now, in order for us to make sure that they're dry completely, we're going to put them on the stove top so that all the water can evaporate. Let me show you real quick. As you see here, the water is already evaporating. Once all that disappears, then we're ready for our next step. Once ready, turn off the heat and let it sit for a minute. Before we go any further, you want to take a large sheet pan and cover it with foil. Now, the reason we do this is because when we put them in the oven, we're going to place our pans on top of the sheet pan, and this will help catch any drippings from the pans. For seasoning today, I'm going to be using Crisco oil. Now, you can use shortening, flax, or canola oil. You want a smoke-based oil, so you will probably want to try and avoid your olive oil, if at all possible. All right, so I'm going to pour a little bit of oil and we're going to rub this on here. Now, I may have to move my pan to the counter because we're going to want to generously coat our pan completely. This includes handles, bottom, every bit of it. After adding your oil, you want to take a clean cloth and wipe off any excess oil. Too much oil will just make for a sticky surface that food will stick to. So just kind of lightly wipe it down. My sheet pan is ready in the oven. So I'm going to grab my two pans real quick because I am doing two today. Now when you place them in the oven, make sure that you place them upside down. And by the way, please excuse my jammies. It is one of those days. They will go in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. After one hour, make sure that you let them cool off in the oven. Leave them in there for a while. You don't want to burn yourself because they are going to be very hot. My pants are ready. If at all possible, it's best if you repeat the oil oven process a second time. I love using my cast iron skillets. They're incredibly versatile and can be used in so many different ways, especially when it comes to one pan recipes that need transferring from stovetop to oven. 
perfect. By the way, when you rinse after each meal, make sure to dry it on top of the stovetop and then add a layer of oil and store away. Don't forget to check out my recipes on my channel and please share this with friends. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos and please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.